I will shorten this and fade it out in a moment. So let's go ahead and back to create another layer text. And this time what I'm going to do is I want this at the very end. Oops, not all the way over there. Let's hold down shift. Here we go. Move my current time indicator. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some text information. I'm going to make this smaller so I can fit everything in here. Let's change this to, oh, I don't know, 44 maybe. There you go. Created. To Figueroa. No, maybe instead of created speed painting vector back Shin by Alda Figueroa. Uh, what I want to give, I want to give credit to the photographer. Uh, I'll put, let's see. Uh, original photo by Rachel Cyan, and then I have music, music by, and I'm going to have to move this in a moment. This guy's name is Patrick Lee, and I want to put the song title quitting time. I'm going to put this in quotes. Quitting time. You can see I can't see it right here, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. I'm going to go ahead and change the position so that this is higher here. here let's go ahead and increase this a bit. Because I have room. And let me raise this up a bit more. So we want to make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Nothing worse than having, you see, quitting, there's two T's in here. Having spelling mistakes. See, I need to make sure that I have all the names correctly. Is my name spelled correctly? Yes, it is. All right, great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create a two-second fade in here. So that's at 137. Let's jump to 139. For the opacity, let's bring this back. Lower the opacity down all the way to zero. So when we play, we get this nice little fade. I'll give the credits, uh, let's see, six seconds, so at 145. I'll put another keyframe, and then at one. 47 flat I'll have another key frame for the opacity so it'll fade out and you can see that hold on shift what I now have right here let me go ahead and click this button here this is where my oh actually I'm going to need this again because I'm going to fade out the audio as well it ends at 147. So here, let's hold down shift. I'm going to jump to this keyframe here. For this audio here, I'm going to fade it out by creating a keyframe for the audio levels. And then at here, at 147, you can see it's going to just fade completely out. And I could go ahead and
have my clip right here. You can see that since this is ending at 147, as long as everything is fine, what I'm going to do, I'm now going to resize my composition by holding down right mouse click. I want to tell it composition settings. For the duration, I want to change this. I want to make this specifically where it ends, 147, because when I render this out, it's going to render your composition. If you have two minutes, I'm going to have 13 seconds of nothing, which I don't want. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. So if I play this right here, now let's do the RAM preview so I could hear some audio. Oh, wrong side. Oh, uh, you know what? It's going to have to do the whole entire thing here. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am um, just going to leave this as is for right now. I'm going to set the settings, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, send this to render. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So here we have our speed painting. It still needs to render out, but I'm not going to render right now so that you guys don't have to see that process. move this off to the side. I'm just going to click right here so we can see the entire frame. So you can see it kind of jumps right here. Um, it jumps because I don't have that last clip right here, but here is a finished piece. All right to send this to render. What you do is right here I have my composition selected. I'm going to go to File and actually it's not under File. Here you go, Composition Add to Render Queue. So within this window, a couple of settings that you have to do first thing that you need to do is you need to give it an output. I'm going to click right here so you could select a location of where you want your file. Uh, I'm going to call this the uh, the file that you're going to create. I'm going to call this my speed here vector portrait speed painting movie uh, location. I'm going to put it just within this folder here that I've created. File format, I want an MOV. I'm going to go ahead and tell it save. We're not done. Now what we want to do is under render settings. I could click right here where it says best settings. Uh, quality, yeah I want high quality for right now. I want to just make sure that it's using my comps frame rate. Uh, these settings look like they should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. For the output where it says lossless, what I'm going to do, I am going to select QuickTime for right now. Once I have this done, I will then export it using H.264. I found that if I select H.264 right now, you have some errors or uh, some visual errors, especially with the credits. So I'm going to select a QuickTime format and then have to export it. Yeah, it is a two-step process, but that's OK. For um, video, I want my video. I do not want to resize it. I do not want to crop it, but I do want audio. Very important. If you don't select this, you won't have audio. I'm just going to use these uh, CD quality sound. 16-bit uh, 48 kilohertz. If you want to have it compressed, you could go into the format options. I'm going to tell it OK. Great, now that we have these settings here, what you could do is you could press render. And what this is going to do is that it's going to basically render out your entire video. You see this progress bar right here? This is your video being rendered out. So once you have this, you're going to have your file and uh, it'll be done. It'll be completed. It'll be finished. And then you have your completed speed painting. Uh, if you wish to make a smaller version, you could use another application. Or for example, I'm 
we'll be using QuickTime Player, and I'm just going to export it as another file, which will compress it into a smaller uh, file size, but still retain a high quality. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment sections, and good luck, have fun, and go make something. Be creative. All right, thanks.